Good morning, good morning. You guys, it is almost February. I am so excited. Um, okay, if you stuck around and you watched the live, you know that we have um, lots of fun happening in February. Um, lots of fun. I'm super excited about it. Every day is planned out. There's a task every day. Some of them are mundane because sometimes we just have to love our homes the hard way. <laughs> but some of them are fun and all of them are using what we already have. So that's awesome. But one thing I mentioned in the live is something I'm offering for February and it's called a room edit. Um, and I mentioned it, I told you a little bit about what it is, but I'm going to explain to you a little bit more in detail um, and show you what an edit is. So um, it's 28 for 28. Basically that means it's like my 28 minutes It'll probably take me a little longer, but around 28 minutes for $28. Um, that's all it will cost you. And it's, you choose one room and you choose one room that you want a, de a designer's eye on. Um, I make a, um, it, well, you send me pictures. So one room and I want like three or four pictures. And then I would like a video of that room span so that I can kind of see the, the, the layout. <clears throat> and then from there, I look at the pictures, I make my observations, and then I make a quick um, jotting note of what I see and what I think that you could be going for. So here's how it works. Let me show you um, on one that I've already done. So let me see if I can move me here out of the way. You guys don't need to see me. Okay. Um, okay. So this is a picture I found on, on Pinterest. Um, and, and this is what I see. So when I say what I read, it is like, when you walk into a room, um, the room, you kind of read the room, any room that you walk into. And so what I see, when I look at this picture, I see lots of brown. I see lots of dark. I see that this person really likes floral. I see there's um, nods to farmhouse in here. You might not be able to see it, but this um, black stand here, that's chicken wire down there and that's very farmhousey. And so are these elements right here. Um, I see lighting, um, the lighting that's, that's pretty small and also the lighting within the room. There's not very much storage right here. I see the carpet, the carpet looks a little bit too small for the area. Same with the artwork. Um, there are pops of red and blue and I notice the pillows. Now, these are the things that I notice and I'm not saying um, like whether these are negative or positive. I mean, some of these are, are, are both, right? Um, but as I go through what I suggest, um, you'll kind of get an idea of what things will be modified. Now, because I noticed that farmhouse is kind of the aesthetic that we're going for that is where the direction is taking me so if you choose to do a room edit um, you're going to get an you're going to get an inventory to fill out for me that you'll return with the pictures and basically it's going to ask what is your aesthetic if you could define your style what would it be so that I know kind of where I'm going that I don't do like modern suggestions if you like farmhouse for example okay so here's what I would suggest um, Number one, I would paint the walls a creamy white. And the reason I would do that is because there's so much brown here that having that color of, and I kind of think it's a creamy yellow, but um, that is, it's too, um, it's not contrasting enough with all of the browns that are playing in here. Um, number two, I would ditch all of those pillows. <clears throat> this brown sofa, if we're wanting to go farmhouse, we're wanting to tone down the room a little bit and make it look a little bit more cohesive. One of the things that I always recommend, um, and this is kind of hard for people to hear, but the pillows that come with the couch need to go. Just tell the store that you don't want them. <laughs> um, they instantly add age to your couch. They instantly date it and not in a good way. So um, like these patterned pillows, are no go. We could maybe keep these ones and that's that's fine. Um, but what I would suggest is replacing all of those pillows because we're kind of taking the tone and we're doing kind of a, a really um, a lighter cohesive look in the room. 
I would want that to be reflected on the pillows so that the, the couch would stand out in a good way now because all of those colors are blending together. So um, we would want some creamy whites, um, some oatmeals, and we would want, want texture represented within the pillows. So think cable knit, think velvet, think um, faux fur, think uh, like the boho kind of thing. Um, think, think texture on that. Okay, number three, where's number three? The rug is too small for this space and it's also the tones, the colors of the rug are very similar to the couch, which I mean, you might think, oh, it matches, um, but it's not doing any favors for the room itself. It's just kind of a muted color. Um, it's kind of, um, it's not standing, it's cohesive in a way that is too brown basically. So we want to get a larger rug. We want that rug to fit underneath the front legs, at least of this couch. Um, and I would say <clears throat> it can be patterned for sure, but I would say having a creamy based rug, something that will stand out against those dark floors. These floors are gorgeous um, and you want them to stand out against it. So you don't want the, the rug to back into the, to fade into the background. Um, okay. Number four, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the art. The art is, is really cute. It has some really nice pops of color, but it is too small for above the couch. So when you're thinking about art, you want to have like um, the dimensions you want to have. When I see that couch, you want it to be like um, 50 to 80% of the width of the couch. So about two thirds. Um, and, you know, you could do a cute farmhouse sign, you know, with um, canvas with wood wrap, wording, that kind of thing. That would be really cute. Painting the coffee table. Okay, too much wood is happening in here and too much brown. And that wood, even though it's lovely, and I know that there are some people who say, don't paint wood, but this is going to do, um, it's going to make a drastic difference. It's a really cute table. I would keep those knobs the same, but I would paint this a different color. Um, because we're doing farmhousey and because we're kind of lightening the whole space, I would paint that um, a white. And then I would remove, let's see, am I right there yet? Yeah, I would remove this tall stand here, number six. I would remove that. Um, it's really not doing any favors here. And that light is so teeny tiny. It's not really doing a whole lot of good here. So um, all of this stuff, I'm assuming that this person wants it in here. So we would put baskets, wicker baskets, and that's gonna pop really, really well against the white coffee table wicker baskets underneath here to store all of the stuff in the number six. And then I would put um, a tall floor lamp here, um, maybe one that kind of mimics a farmhouse style. Um, okay, so this is another view of the living room. So what I read, you can see we're still in the same space. What I read, I see that um, this room is just, is very dark. There's so many wood tones, terracotta, the brick, um, the dark couch. Um, looks like the patterned um, chair kind of matches uh, the pattern pillows. Um, I noticed the curtains. Um, I noticed some dated pieces. I noticed the ironwork back here, and I noticed the dark, uh, the dark blanket, and I noticed the mantle. Okay, so what would I do? And again, when I'm noticing these, these are just my observations. The things I pop out that pop out at me that I'm going to address in the um, retrofitting. So all of these, none of these things are bad. Um, and I don't want you to think that, but that is, those are the things I noticed that I want to address in the next slide. Okay, so here's what I notice. Here's what I would suggest. Um, I would unify the paint throughout. Um, having this accent um, really doesn't do the mantle any favors because it's just too tone on tone. <clears throat> so I would paint it all out. If you're really loving shiplap still, um, go ahead and put shiplap up here. That will be a little bit trickier right here, right next to the mantle, but that could add a really sweet farmhouse um, look to it. And you guys, it's super easy. So if you want to try shiplap, um, let me let me know. It is super easy, super cheap. I, I've done it myself several times um, and I can teach you how. Okay. Um, Side note, okay, curtains. The curtains are, are hung too low and they are too dark. So I would replace those because we're doing a lighter, airier feel in the room. Um, I, would, I would do a black um, curtain rod. You'll see why in a minute, black curtain rod. And then I would do light colored 
<clears throat> like colored curtains. <clears throat> I would do a creamy white. <clears throat> Um, if you had a light pattern on it, that's fine, but actually I wouldn't because we're going to go light, airy, farmhouse, kind of modern-y, um, a little bit more modern. Um, okay, where am I? Number three. Okay, um, this one's a little bit tricky and can be um, a little bit up to you, but here's what I would suggest. I would suggest, so the the wood right now, if it was sitting on a on the, a creamy white wall, that would look really pretty by itself, but the problem is the brick, okay? And it's not problematic because the brick is lovely. So here's what I would do. I would paint the wood mantle. Um, and I, I have two choices here. I would either paint it black and kind of whitewash that brick so the brick stands out in a good way. Black against that red brick is gonna look a little bit, um, it's not gonna have that, appearance that is going to be popping in the way that your eye wants it to. Um, or I would paint it white and I would leave the brick as is. So those are two choices. Um, I would remove the pattern chair. I think the pattern chair really dates the room um, and it just adds that element of brown that's, um, to be really honest, it's not super cute. So I would replace it. And then this brown blanket isn't going to stick out so much if you replace it with something that is um, like an oatmeal colored chair. Same shape, same shape is great. Um, maybe doing an oatmeal colored chair and then that brown blanket is really going to pop and it's going to fit into um, that farmhouse feel really, really well. And even though we're going for a light and airy look, a piece of brown is okay. That's okay. Okay. Um, the mantle is too busy. So I would... Um, I would take, a, I mean, look, there's, there's books, there's candlesticks, there's these cute little bottle things, this ironwork, this sign. Um, the ironwork is going to look really, really nice against a white wall. And if it, if you had shiplap behind there, it's so cute. Remove that sign that's too high next to that scrolly work and remove these bottles. But I think you could probably play with the candles a little bit. These ones might be too high for up here with the scroll. Um, but you could have, you know, a little stack of books here, a little candle, maybe some smaller candles over here. Um, so that's what I would do in here. Okay, third picture of the space. All right, so what this is must be the other side of the wall opposite where um, this wall color here is the same. It's reflecting itself off of the, um, the fireplace wall. Okay. So I see lots and lots of brown. It's really dark in here to me. Um, I don't see very much storage. I do see odes to vintage. Um, I see too many wood tones competing here. I see wood in the door, wood on the floor, wood um, TV stand and wood bench. Um, I see lots of ironwork here. I see some scrolls and then I see this ode to rustic. Um, and, and then I see here she likes florals again. So. Let's see what I would suggest. All right, so again, we're taking the walls and we're doing the creamy white throughout that whole entire room. And actually I'm gonna throw in something extra, which I didn't notice yesterday, but um, I don't know where my mouse is, but oh, here it is. Um, around the door, all of that in that same area because it flows into each other should be that same creamy white. And then that door is really gonna pop. It's gonna look really pretty. Same with that, um, the, the millwork is going to pop a little bit more. Um, okay, the bench, I think I would relocate it, um, move it someplace else. Um, this rustic art is acting like a bully in the room because there's not really a whole lot of rustic anywhere else in the space. It feels really like it's taking charge in not a good way. Um, I mean, I see vintage, but vintage isn't necessarily the same as rustic. So I would say um, remove that. That could really be um, kind of cute. Have you, have you ever thought about hanging art like on the outside of your house? Maybe as you walk in or out by the back door, that could be really cute back there. Um, Okay, this TV stand looks a little bit too small, but what I would suggest is replacing it with um, a console, a larger console, so that it would kind of take the space of um, the bench and that TV console, and then the TV might be, um, it might be a little bit more front and center because it's gonna be sitting atop the TV console, but you'll have a lot more storage in there as well. And then you could even do a table lamp on the TV stand. Um, and then, 
um, oh, the tones that I would suggest, either a lighter wood tone, because then we're getting rid of a lot of that wood. The only wood we have left is um, the flooring and the door. So you could do a lighter wood tone, you could do black, or you could do white. Um, really cute. That'd be really cute. Okay. And then this is a second room. So if you were to do a room edit with me, this would count as a second room, even though it flows into the same space. Um, this is a second room. So that's why that number two is here. Okay, so what I what I read, what I see, um, I see that it's dark. I see that there are lots of wood tones, the floor, um, the cabinets, the table, the millwork. Um, I see a dated light fixture. I see that there are no curtains here. I see that there are too many items on top of the cabinets up here and on top of the countertops. And then I see some dated textiles. They're not necessarily dated, but it makes the space feel dated. Um, one thing I didn't notice, but I love these chairs and I love the black. And that is why when I mentioned earlier, oh, you'll notice why I'm gonna say black curtain rod because of those black chairs. So when you bring in a color like black, for example, and I see black here. So when you bring in a color like black, you want it to repeat itself. You don't want it to be the outlier or the bully in the room. Okay, so what I suggest for this, um, same thing, you're gonna bring the paint in throughout the whole space. And I can tell this looks green back here. So we're gonna bring paint all the way in here and it's gonna make those cabinets pop um, in a good way right now. It's too um, too earthy of a feel, um, and so you want that those cabinets to stand out. One thing I didn't mention as I'm looking at the cabinets right now is I would change out those poles. They look maybe like they are um, gold to me, maybe not, maybe silver, but um, maybe changing them black as well could be a good tie in here. Okay, I would definitely place the overhead light. Lighting is something that can instantly date a room, so I would replace that. I would add curtains, even if they are just um, decorative, um, using that same rod and same curtain because it's in the same space. So you do want the same curtain. Um, and here's why. Curtains are, they add texture and depth to a room. It is very similar to like if you're getting dressed and to go on a date with hubby, you're getting dressed and, um, and you put on, you know, you put on a dress and then you wear flip-flops. Okay, awesome, but we're gonna elevate your look because you're going to a nice restaurant. So you're gonna put on a dress and then heels and then, oh, don't forget your jewelry and then your mascara and your hair. Like all of that coming together elevates your date night look. And even though this isn't date night, um, it will elevate the look of your room just by adding curtains. So we're gonna suggest that. And you can have, um, it looks like a slider. So you can have a cute pullback, a tie back. Um, and, uh, and then that way, you know, little fingers can, can be free from that. Um, okay, number four, I would remove all of the items up here. I don't think that does any, um, it doesn't add a whole lot to rooms, especially when there's not that much space. So, you know, oftentimes you see greenery or things um, and I would say, take that down. Um, and then I also would say remove there's a lot of stuff happening um, on the fridge and there's a lot of stuff happening on the counters. And so of course, you know, this is storage space and I can tell that this is a tiny kitchen. Um, so, you know, being mindful of, you know, you need the coffee pot out, of course. I'm not saying completely empty the counters, but um, can you put some of those things away? I bet you could to make it a little bit more tidy. Um, I, I noticed something else too. Okay, and then I'm just gonna assume that that on the fridge is is artwork. And so if you see right um, above the number one on this wall, this could be a really sweet place to put artwork if it's from the kids. Um, and that could be a really sweet, a sweet place. Or if this is like command center stuff, like calendar, I can't quite tell what that little thing is. Um, but if it was like, you know, you needed to have like a calendar maybe a chalkboard calendar or something to, to write the dates down. That would be really cute right here. Okay, the thing that popped <laughs> into my vision when I was chatting is this valance. Um, valances are again, something that will instantly date your room. And this is um, again, kind of um, like country farmhouse that look, the plaid it looks like um, is kind of country farmhouse and it makes it um, look a little bit dated. So I would remove that. <clears throat> um, and if you didn't, really feel like you needed to dress this window, 
this is a window that you can leave open. Um, or here's an idea and it's very lofty, um, but how sweet would this look to paint the upper cabinets white, paint the lower cabinets a dark color, and then bring in a bamboo shade where the curtains are. Okay, um, number six, um, the dated textile underneath the flowers. I would remove that, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And if you wanna protect the table, awesome, but can you do it with like maybe a cake stand and how cute would that be or a tray um, so that you're still protecting the table, but it's giving it a little bit more of a, um, a modern look. And then um, this is um, an issue that is, people love it or hate it, but um, maybe think about adding an area rug. And so when you have wood on wood, sometimes you need your eye to separate those pieces. And those pieces are, um, you know, it, it makes it so that they don't ooze into each other. And so if you have an area rug um, here, it will separate the wood from the wood. Um, one thing I would suggest is a very low pile rug and something, and this is where you might be able to bring in some of those colors that you really liked, like the reds and the blues, um, but very, very subtly. I mean, you want to, you want to um, kind of camo any spaghetti spills, but you also don't want it to be a pop, a really bright pop, because we're going for light, airy farmhouse. Um, so that is, that's a room edit. Um, and it's really, it would look very similar to that. Um, you would send me about three pictures of your room, recognizing like this example was two rooms um, and you can do as many rooms as you want, that's up to you. Um, here's how it works. If you would like to do a room edit with me, um, you um, need to be okay with feedback because that's why you want it. Um, and, that's, and that's okay, um, there's no, judgment anywhere. Um, and I know that we all have our own styles and that's a really, really good thing, but bringing out, bringing it out and showcasing the things that you have and the things that you love a little bit better is the idea behind the room edit. So it's not, the purpose is not to make you feel bad about what you have through the lens of a designer, designer's eye. That's not, that's not the goal <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Um, <clears throat> okay. So you need to be okay with having some constructive feedback. Um, and, um, and then take action. I'm not going to follow up with you necessarily unless you want me to, um, to see if you have taken action, but, um, it's then all on you to decide we can work further together. Um, and I can really draw up a nice plan, kind of offering suggestions for like the curtains you would choose and the lighting you choose and all that, <clears throat> but that would be um, something different. Um, what else? Oh, um, so that room edit, the offer is available um, only through February. Um, so if you decide to do that, you can just send me a DM. You can um, email me at figandfarm at home at gmail.com. Um, and, and yeah, and we'll get you scheduled. And then I will do exactly this. So I'll, I'll do a presentation that's very similar, walking you through making numbers so that you then have it. And I'll just email it. Well, email it back and forth. Okay. All right. Um, you guys, I hope that is helpful. And if you know, you know, if you have a friend who would love that too, have them pop over to the group and they can sign up with me too. It's um, that would be just fine. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great day and I can't wait to see you um, the first of February for our very first February love your home challenge. Bye guys.